Okay, I found this on eBay and I've wanted one of these for a while. Um, got it for 40 bucks, which I think is a pretty good price for it. Uh, although you might wonder why, why you're paying for this thing. It seems like they should give you one for free. Um, maybe you get your money back if you buy the oscilloscope. What is this thing? It's a demo board, okay? And so uh, Tektronics is trying to sell you a TDS 7104 or a 7054 uh, oscilloscope, and they want to show it off. And so they want to give you a whole bunch of complicated waveforms to demo the thing. And then you go, oh, wow, that's a great oscilloscope. I better go buy that one. Uh, so this is the demo board. Um, so yeah, people leave a comment if these things were really sold to people or they were given away to like major clients, right? I'm sure if you were a big client, they'd just hand you one. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this one was new in the box. Uh, hasn't ever been, hasn't ever been uh, played with. And it's got a whole bunch of modes in it. Um, it's got some pseudo, it's got five lines of pseudo, or four, four, four I guess, four, bit, four bits of pseudo digital and a one megahertz clock. It's got some kind of fast rise time. I'm really curious to know how fast that rise time is. It's got like a fancy layout on the PC board and comes out of an SMA connector and everything. It's got a phase lock loop, I think, in there. It's got a little a DC to DC converter, and you can take a look at different signals, like the, sh the ringing of the uh, inductor and stuff on a, on a DC to DC converter. And then it's got these, I've got to, I think I've got to steal this idea. I kind of like it. Um, on the uh, edges of the PC board, they have these little mouse bites, and then they put a little wire across it. So you can just clip your scope probe on it, right? Just clip, clip, clip. And that's a, that's a nice way of adding a test um, thing onto your board. Um, instead of it sticking up, it's nice and flat. So I don't know, I, I like these, might copy that. Um, you can see it's got some RF stuff. It's got a mixer here. It's got a, uh, um, oh, who, who makes it anyway? It's got this mixer um, and it does some RF modulations and stuff. But yeah, look at this board. It's pretty darn complicated. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff. And I think these are all like custom chips. They're probably like uh, uh, some type of programmable array. Here's a little coil here for the DC to DC. So this is all kind of like DC to DC stuff up here. Here's a master clock here, a 48 megahertz clock. Uh, yeah, it's pretty darn fancy. So yeah, I'm sure it costs um, some money to build this thing. So, um, so up here it has QAM. So it has 64 QAM signal. So I'm gonna do a whole video on, on that uh, 60, 64 QAM. Uh, quadrature modulation. Um, it's got on this side, so over, over here it's just um, ground and ground. So you take your scope probe, you ground it here, and you, here's, here's your I, I for your qualm, here's the Q for the qualm, and, and it's uh, ground here, and then this is the clock signal for the qualm. So yeah, that's, that's super cool. Like I said, I'm going to do a video just on that. Uh, over here, looks like it has some interesting things. It's got some type of random, random thing, like, I don't know. I know it does ground bounce and stuff. We'll have to read the manual. I think it does ground bounce. There's a VCO here that you can program the VCO to do different things. Um, yeah, it's just got tons and tons of stuff on it. And you power it up through the USB. So these oscilloscopes have USB on the front panel, so you just plug that into your scope, plug it into here, it powers it up. And then if you want to continue to use your USB, um, there's a feed through here. So uh, you plug it in here to power it up. And then if you have other devices like a keyboard or mouse and stuff, you can just plug it into here and, and it daisy chains it in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's well, well thought out. It does have one bodge wire on it that I saw uh, over there. You can see that on camera or not. There's a bodge wire right here, a little green little green wire. They used the green wire to hide it, <laughs> but it looks like it's springing in ground or something. I don't, I don't know quite sure. Anyway, one bod wire, all the rest looks pretty good. All surface mount. Uh, let's see. Is there a date on anything? I haven't looked at that. Or maybe the book has a date. The book probably has a date. Back, back up. Uh, yeah, night. 
copyright. Oh, there's no date. Copyright, but no date. Well, that's kind of weird. Copyright, but no date. Hmm. That doesn't seem right, does it? That doesn't seem right. Let me get a magnifying glass. I had it up there. There it is. if I can read a date code on one of these things. Uh, LM317, that's interesting, and a SO8. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, four? 2004? This one's 2003? Yeah, somewhere around in there. Anyway. All right, uh, so I said you just hook the USB here, and then the USB you can pull off at the front of your uh, some front of your oscilloscope. And uh, let me move things so you can get rid of that glare. All right, I'm here on one of these uh, random random digital things. One, two, there's four bits of random, random digital. Let's uh, take a look at that. Uh, what are we triggering on here? There we go. We're triggering around something. I uh, will do a single shot. And yeah, there we go. So we got some random digital and that's cool. Let's see what else we can find to look at. All right, I've got it hooked up to here so to some random anomaly. I think that's what it means, random anomaly. And uh, it's outputting a clock, but if I hit the, if I hit the button, there's a little button right here. I'm gonna hit the button. I hit the button, it, oop, look at that, it just changes. Looks like it changes funny things. I don't know. It does weird things. <laughs> I guess you can like try to trigger on trigger on one of those anomal no, anomaly events. And there we go. There's a that's a weird little signal happening there. Oh, look at that thing. I like that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They're calling that a cheat. I don't know what that means. Cheat. I don't know. It's doing weird things. And then there's another anomaly thing over here. Oh yeah, it does weird things. If I hit the button, yeah, it changes. It changes kind of weird things too. I don't know. We'll have to read the book. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be super cool. Uh, let's see, what else can we look at? Uh, we could take a look at one of the qualm signals here. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on the qualm, so I'm not going to spend any time on it today, but let's just make sure it's working. And uh, yeah, looks like there's looks like there's qualm data over there. So okay, we'll come back to that some other day. Um, and um, you can actually probe the USB. It like brings a breakout, so you can watch USB communications. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. It's got. Uh, oh, look at that! Oh, that's cool. So this is the DC to DC converter thing. Um, so let me zoom out here. You can see it's whack, whack, whacka. Uh, so that's cool. Um, and over here is, what is this? Oh yeah, there's some more, there's some more stuff on the DC to DC converter. So lots to look at there. Um, Let's see, how about that fast edge? What if we take a look at that? Remember I told you there's supposed to be an edge that comes out of this uh, SMA connector over here. Let's see if we can probe that. I know this is not the proper way to do it. Uh, let's see if we, we're getting anything. I don't, I don't quite see anything. Hmm. I don't quite see anything. What is that? Oh, maybe there, maybe it's just small. Let me see if I can trigger on that. It's going negative, which is kind of weird. And how fast are those edges? They aren't all that fast. Two nanoseconds, they're like, maybe in the day they were, so it's like a two nanosecond edge. So I guess that's pretty fast. And uh, if I put a good ground on it with that SMA, it probably cleans it up too, so. Okay, so it does have some little fast edges on it. That's fun. Down here, uh, modulated, modulated RF. 
Is it really modulated RF? I don't, modulated with what? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to probe on it. Ever saying, he never reads the manual. Why don't you read the manual? It's no fun. It's no fun reading the manual. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there we go. That looks like that looks like modulation, doesn't it? Of some kind. I don't know exactly what it is we're modulating, but it's some kind of some kind of signal. Doing something. Something, something. All right. Um, so anyway, the reason that I got the board was to uh, learn some of these signals and try to figure out what Tektronics was trying to do with those signals. Why, why those signals are hard to capture and to see if the Rigel can keep up with the, uh, with the old Tektronix scope, see if, they can, see if they can trigger on these events as well. So I will read the manual and I'll figure out what each one of these does and then maybe devote a, uh, a video to, to those things. Uh, like I said, my, 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 my first video will be uh, looking at this uh, QAM, uh, 64 QAM output, which I, I find fascinating. I've never had anything that outputted 64 QAM in my shop, so it's fun to have something I can actually take a look at.